G'day viewers, what is metadata? This is a question a lot of Australians are asking themselves this week after the federal government announced uh, in their advanced spying game they want to be able to have access to the metadata of basically all communications into and out of Australia. It's phone and internet. And when the government themselves tried to explain it, they really didn't help make it very clear. The Attorney General in particular was more than a tad embarrassing. He really looked like someone who was trying to hide something mixed up with someone who had no idea what he was talking about. Not a good combination. But let's talk about it. Metadata, by definition, is data about data. So if you use the term correctly, what you're basically saying is, um, this will explain to you the parameters of this information. It won't have all the information, but it'll tell you the type of information we're talking about. For phone calls, this would typically be who made the call, who received the call, how long the call went on, and you do a bit of cross-referencing, you can work out how often these two parties communicate. Uh, for an email, it'd be who sent the email, who received the email, the size of the email, whether it had attachments, that type of thing. And for web browsing, it would typically be uh, what was the IP address that uh, was doing the web searching and what websites did they go to, how long were they on them, and probably if they downloaded anything from those sites. Now, the government is now at pains to say, no, no, we are absolutely not tracking the actual sites you visit. We just want your IP address when you go on the internet. I have to admit, I call bullshit on this. First, because they seem shifty. Uh, second, you're tracking your IP address, but not what sites you visit, would be useless. So the combination of them avoiding giving direct answers and, you know, just by any rational person's uh, assessment, the metadata of web traffic is the websites you visit as well. Uh, I think they might be lying. But here's the thing. Even if they're not, what they're talking about could easily track what websites you visit uh, just because of some other surveillance stuff that they're not talking about. Now, to help you out with this, if you want to know how they could do it, this is one way. There are probably a lot of other ways they could do it as well. But here's one way they could track what websites you visit while theoretically you have not been telling lies when they said, oh no, it's only your IP address. So they've tracked your IP address. Um, look, to explain it, I'll extend the Prime Minister's own analogy where he said, oh no, uh, I don't want to read your mail, I just want to see the address on the mail, I want to know where it's going to. Okay, so in this analogy, I'm going to talk about someone writing you a letter. Now, the letter they write, that's a website you visit. Uh, the sender, uh, the, their location, that's their IP address. Uh, your location, that's your IP address, and you're you, okay? So, if the government is surveilling this person writing the letters because they don't like them, and they have cameras, and they read every letter this person writes before they send it, they know the content, okay? Now, if they just have your IP address, when they go, oh, what IP addresses are, is coming here? In other words, when he addresses the envelope, they go, oh, whose address is that? And they see it's your address. It's the same as if they're monitoring traffic to a website. They're not monitoring you, uh, pinky swear. Uh, they're not monitoring you. They're monitoring this website that they regard to be bad. So they're monitoring this website. They see the IP address of everyone who visits the website and they cross-reference it with the fact they're tracking all our IP addresses all the time and then they go, oh, now I know that you visited the ilovealqaeda.com website. And they, in typical politician weasel speaker, no, we're not tracking your internet habits, we're just tracking your IP address. They will argue they're not lying. Any rational, reasonable person would say, they're lying. They are monitoring everything we do on the internet when it suits them. Where this gets worse is the bit that people haven't been talking about as much. New powers they're talking about for spy and police agencies, including lowering the threshold for arresting someone. In other words, if they don't like the look of you, but they don't have enough evidence uh, to convince a judge that you should be under surveillance or should be arrested, they're gonna do it 
anyway. And if there's anyone out there who's naive enough to go, oh, but only terrorists have to worry, well, Abbott has already point blank said this sort of power can be used for general policing. And if that's what they're actually willing to admit, I shudder to think how far they will take it. Simple statement of fact, police powers have always been abused. You can argue it's by a minority if you like, but there has always been abuse of police powers. Now, this isn't an argument for getting rid of the police, not from me at least, but it is an argument for oversight of the police and limits to their powers. And it gets even worse with spies, because when by their very nature they're covert and they can declare things to be top secret and no one's allowed to know about it, how do you know when they're abusing that power? And for those delightfully naive people who go, well, you've got nothing to worry about if you don't do anything wrong, that is a privileged delusion. And there are a lot of people in this world who don't have the benefit of living under that delusion because they can and are harassed when they don't do anything simply because of who they are or who they look like. You see, if you want any clearer definition of why you should be aware of this, the simple fact is, you, you might even be right when you say this current regime, they would never do anything to me. Maybe they wouldn't, but this isn't who's going to be in power all along. Sooner or later, someone will be in power that you don't agree with, and they don't agree with you, and you don't have the same views, opinions, and standards, and you hold different things to be important. This is why I laugh when Bush was doing all his crazy shit in America, and the Republicans are going, oh, you're just with the terrorists. It's like, dudes, Democrats are gonna be in power one day, and they will have these same powers. Lo and behold, that's what happened. In Australia, there's this thing that keeps happening that cracks me up. Conservative state governments have set up independent commissions against corruption. This goes back to the 80s when I was living in New South Wales. Nick Greiner set up, because he was rightly convinced uh, the opposition Labour Party was corrupt as all hell. Hey, let's set up a commission and get them all. And they forgot the independent bit, because then the commissioner said, hey look, I just had this evidence of, oh, the actual Liberal Party or the country party, their uh, coalition partner. Now look, they're corrupt. And they go, hey, fellas, n no, no, don't look at us. Look at them. What do you mean you're independent and we're corrupt? What are you doing? And it's happening again now. In, in, in Victoria, where I live now, in New South Wales again, it's like they set up this, hey, let's go and prosecute that. Wait, why are you prosecute? Why me? I meant for you to get them. Why are you getting... This is what happens, okay? It's, it's craziness. You give politicians, cops, spies, military, unlimited power, and they will fuck you with it. That's history. That's today. That's the past. Whenever someone says, oh, I'm good, I don't have to worry about anything, it makes me think of the famous words of Cardinal Richelieu. Give me six lines written by the most honest of men, and I will find a reason to have him hanged. You are innocent right up until the point that someone who wants you guilty declares you guilty. That's why things like warrants and oversight exists. And that's why these things are stretching out government powers, not having to rely on warrants, not having oversight. That's why they're a bad idea. Not because I'm a bad person, but without oversight, eventually someone will abuse the powers. And if you don't think that's the case, you deserve what happens next.